Hello everybody Welcome to the stream Today I'm going to learn how to touch tie I know this isn't something that just happens quickly But It's kind of loud ain't it Let's bring the volume back on that a bit Quite a lot actually Alright, let's get started. Just so you know, I have already done a bit. Oh. For context, I need to do this in under a minute with no mistakes to progress into the next lesson. And I still haven't done it. As you can see, I'm making common mistakes there will be some scenes where I get quite close to it like I have before alright alright you might be wondering why I'm streaming this I don't know. Alright. Well, that's a good basis for you to know how good I am at this. And actually, let me just go into the editor real quick. You're just going to be seeing the screen the entire time. So, might as well, uh, you know, maximize it. Oh. If that's not perfectly in the middle, I'm sorry. Alright, let's go. Let's go, go, go! Oh. Oh. I hope uh, the keyboard sounds are good and not annoying. I only got this keyboard a few days ago, so I'm not really good with this keyboard either. This is my first mechanical keyboard as well. And so... For some context, touch typing is, uh, you know, the main thing used these days. The typing is there. Uh, oh, what? That. The closest I've gotten is. Oh, that's a bit. We'll see what happens when I look like that. Ah. Uh, Alright, what was I've gotten is one mistake in 47 seconds. And you bet I was annoyed. Ah! Yeah. I'm probably gonna rage quite a bit. There we go. There we go. There's our first undefined. Alright. See, if you go amateur, there's only 10 lessons, I believe. Yeah. Sad das D F F S S. You see, this is a good run. But I'm gonna mess it up somewhere. <laughs> and then the rest just goes hard. 
if I do a entire line correctly without missing it up, alright, so that's undefined, and you know what, I feel like I'm not giving you enough context. Nope, I was going to show you my normal typing speed, but one, you'll see all of my personal stuff, <laughs> and two, um, stop. D and please, all right. Ah, I nearly messed up on the last line, so then I tried to help, and I just ruined it for myself. What is the HTML to this? Because this is really annoying. I got to refresh each time. I guess people weren't expecting for it to take this long. There's also a Turkish version. Let's see how that will work. Wait, these versions are locked? Oh. Oh, you gotta pay. It sucks to be you if you're Turkish, I guess. That's why you gotta learn English. Stop. You know, I'm gonna do it. Websites like typing me. That you can learn in a week, sure. Sure. Download Typing Master. Alright, let's pimp that out. Guess we're gonna be using. Basically, this is what I'm looking at. Let's check out the URL. Please. Edit. You're in editor mode. What is wrong with the software? Oh. Oh, it's glitched. Oh, no. What is... I'm just going to pause this. Why is it playing in 72060fps? No. Why would you do that? There's no need. This is what I'm seeing. That website, just in case I need it later. Let me just check the stream. Alright, let's go look for Typing Master. Oh, this looks horrid. Oh, this looks like a massive game. This looks like it's stuck in 2008. Soft Sonic? No. When was this made? 2016? What's wrong with you? Oh. I don't know, bro. Uh, I'm gonna go with it. I can't believe... 
you just exposed me. Never mind, we're good. We're just going in downloads. And it's downloaded, it's only 6 megabytes. Alright. Now, before we get to that, let's do another round of this. Because I still find this pretty fun. What? I pressed S. No, that... I had, I had my hands on the wrong key. Uh, I want to eat your nice. Stop giving me undefined. Why do you think I'm going off of you? Because I could have reload every time I want to try again. Oh. It's probably not even for a good reason. It's probably to maximize the advertisement. Oh, guys, I'm getting really nervous. Ah, oh, no! Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dude. so much I've been doing level one for at least an hour what am I even doing anymore I don't know I don't know what am I doing let's install the thing real quick S D S A F A D A S S E D S A A D A I I thought I pressed A I convinced myself that I did A D that's not that's not D is it? <laughs> a A S S S D A S F F A S F S F D A S Ah uh, my right arm's playing up ow Oh that really hurts That's not S, mate. What are you doing? I keep on like... Uh, Alright, forget what I did before. Did that actually work in my favor? Telling myself to forget? It's so easy to press, I'm not used to that. You make a mistake, it knows. Dude, it knows. That's not what I meant to do. I've just been doing this for... That, I just double pressed F. Maybe if I uh, zoom in really far. So I can see it better. I swear if this was the reason I was dying, I'm gonna be mad. I keep on messing myself up and I know it's my fault. I pressed base, did it? I swear. Oh, I swear I pressed space there. Undefined, great. We're zooming out. I'm in the I keep on barely touching them like this and then moving on. 
And that's my downfall in the end. You know, I'm just gonna type slow. Stop, man! Uh. I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the screen really close to me, and and it's just frozen. I did not press space multiple times. That's that's the error it's telling me. What I did in 47 seconds was because I pressed space. That's that was my only mistake, and now I'm hanging over and I can't do it. In this guys is why I can't learn new things. That's uh, do I get any comments? I don't think I've got any. No, nobody's been here. I'm just streaming. Stop. See it stream stream no no stream oh my I'm really happy about that I gotta be honest though. Let's try out Tari Ping Master now. I'm accepting their agreement. I don't know what's happening over here. Alright, great. How long have I been streaming for? Just 20 minutes? Hold on, I'm gonna tell my mom. It's not really exhilarating or anything. You don't feel good afterwards. But it's just that sense of relief. It's so strong. The sense of relief is just so immense.
Is it going to show you the typing marks again? Nope, it's decided not to. What if I set it as a window cap here? Huh. <laughs> Alright. But I'll set it in a new. New window capture. An existing source. So then I can... Wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'll mess it up. I'll mess everything up. Because this is zoomed in and I want to keep the zoom. Alright. New. Window capture. Add source. Window capture 1. Add new source. Yes. Go back here. Switch this back to what it was before. Yes. Let's go. Boom. I'm sad it didn't get it caught on camera. But I'm happy that the pain is gone. Alright. Fit the screen. Let's check this out. Into your name. My name is Daniel. Did I type my name in wrong? <laughs> Alright. Now what does this do? Oh, it just makes it bright. Notify me to take a break every two hours? When two bros... Is that really what I named my computer? Sure. Do not collect words. Oh, you can collect words. Five hours, twenty. Twelve lessons. Let's start, dude. Ooh. How do I start? Do I just... Have to read, dude. That's lame. Can you feel? Yep. My my uh, pointer goes from JDU. What? So I get to play anything. Yeah. This game sucks. What? Anyway, lesson two. I don't even care. I'm guessing we'll be the next. Yup, there we go. Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, 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 J, 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 L, 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 J, L, K, boom, K, L, J, Y, I, 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 L, that, that's a J, L, J, K, L, J, K, 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 K. K L K K K that I thought that was a K. Oh, K is the middle finger. J's pointer. Pinky for that. J L J K K L K K L bump L K J K L Boom, 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 J, 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 boom, K, K, L, K, boom, okay, boom, boom, you see I pulled a s s nice little move on you. Uh, 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 
J J K K J K K K J J K K bomb L L K K L L K K K bomb K no K O L L L K K K Oh, it's got a little meter. That's kind of cool. L K J O K K L K J bomb K L L bomb 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 bomb. That's an L. That's a K. That's a J. That's a K. That's a J. Bomb K K's middle middle not middle <laughs> middle. Not middle, not middle, not middle, middle, not middle. Pointer, middle, bomb. 49 mistakes in 142 seconds. What happens if I spam it? That's over 100 words per second, my dude. Let's get rid of this typing meter. I know you can't see it, but I'm closing that. Nope, no, no. It won't let me untick that. Oh, that is horrid. That is horrid. I'm deleting this app. You can't see me, but I'm going into the control panel. And I'm getting that deleted. Oh, I need to go into uninstall first. Uninstall a program. Typing master. Prepare to get uninstalled, fool. He's probably going to ask me why I chose to uninstall it. Never mind. Typing two to Windows 10 app, ten dollars. Pro version for business, a hundred and sixty. Your app is horrid, mate. Who would use it? Nobody. Alright. J boom J J J O J L Ah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. J K J. Boom, K, 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 boom, not, J, K, J, boom, J, L, 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 J, J, K, boom, J, K, K, L, J, K, L, J, K, 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 J, L, L, K, I think I'm worst uh, with that, yeah. Yeah, I haven't got this down to memory <laughs> whatsoever. K L J L L K N I K K K J K L L K J L K L J J N Y J J N Y L K J Am I getting better at this? No, <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Boom, K, K, K. I don't know why it moved down a page. Is it because it um, zooms in? K, J. Boom, 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 up, 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 I gotta say, this app is really nice. 
K J L L J No Okay K J L L L L L L J No that's not J I keep on messing up there Keep on messing up No now I'm mixing them Cause I'm like oh I'm gonna go swag Muscle. I'm excited for when the muscle memory kicks in. That's all I'm gonna say. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, body. <laughs> right? Oh, I'm so lonely, man. Ah. Uh. At least I've brought it down by a bit. I'm really scared of going back to <laughs> number one. You know, let's join a random Discord group. Let's see what happens from doing that. Hmm. Probably gonna say some racist shit. Or whatever. Can't join that one, that's full. That I can't even talk about. Real talk. I can't join that. Alright. Yep, looks like a that's a no to that idea then. Alright, now that I'm out of that, let's resume the music. That's not what I wanted. Nope! Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help, 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 K, K, O, L, K, L, B, uh, 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 K L J J K K K, boom J J J B B B B B B L L J B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B No B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Joke. Ooh, this one's a bit nifty. <laughs> Oh wow, my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite exercise, guys. I gotta, I gotta tell you. But by we, by the time we start, yeah, it fixes itself. Are you saying? Oh, I started on the wrong thing again. I don't even know how I got the the first bit right. Da 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 da. Ooh, this song clicks my buttons really hard. You fail. 
if I get copyrighted on these royalty free songs, I'm gonna be mad. I should be fine. People had to learn who had to learn to type, right? It must have been painful there for them because they had to do it in a work environment, right? Back in the old days. I say the olden days, but it really wasn't that long ago, was it? That was a bit quicker. You better be uh, Stop apologizing, mate. I get it, right? Stop. I'm sorry, I'm gone. I get it, mate. I feel like the muscle memory is starting to stick in. Uh, uh, hmm. Some really nice Turkish people translated this into English, I'm sure. Dude, you go to Turkey. I've been there. It's quite a great country. I didn't go there during the summer holidays for the yokai, right? I went there during like a two week break. When the weather was still nice and not obscenely hot. Is that a male? I didn't expect that. Uh, uh. I thought I was doing better, but obviously not. Oh, J, K, bum. J, uh, Oh, what's happening here? Uh, oh, I... My, I feel like my main problem is that my fingers are used to being used like this. making this so convoluted. I know, so it's that you learn it by muscle memory. That's uh, in case you're thinking about uh, why I already know for my well-being. Eight one seconds, that's like 10 seconds down. When proving, we're improving. Oh, I started in the wrong space again. I'm not even gonna try and say that that was all right. KJ, KJ, L, K, J, K, J, L, J, L, 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 K, J, K, K, J, K, K, J. L J K. Mm. 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 I'm not thinking anymore. I just want to be done with this. Uh, uh, that's the sound of me falling into despair.
I feel like once I get to the I'll see where this gets me and then I'll make a mark before I stop the screen stream Do 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 oh 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 uh co 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 bum 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 uh 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 mm. Ninety two I'm back to being bad. Right, if I can get a uh, past the eight into the seventies, I'll leave. If I can can get into the seventies and the stream ends. Unless I get too fed up to continue, of course. Which it's looking like I'm going to. I want to know why Elanet is getting more spotlight than anything else. It's tripping me up. Have you noticed that or is it just me that thinks, uh, oh, never mind. Maybe it's because people think, uh, people don't get enough of L. But now it's just making it harder for me because there's so much L and not enough of the other ones. It sounds like Imagine Dragons. Oh, I was so close to the 70 mark. Alright, now I know I can do it. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. Let's go, concrete. Oh, set me free. This. Alright. Ooh! 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 I didn't, I didn't think this would come up. This was extremely unexpected. You failed. JK, JK. Uh, I just don't think and uh, they uh some of these aren't getting enough spotlight. It's it's uneven, it's tripping me up. But I got the seventy nine anyway, so I'm just gonna stop. Fine. So greedy. Uh, 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 uh. No, thank you. 
I'm underage. You know, this kind of sounds like a. Wait, never mind. That's a that's a false statement. It's a good thing I didn't say it. These are randomly generated, right? Are they intentionally made to be hard? Oh no! <laughs> I gotta redo it. I thought I hit it. Like I hit the dab. You know. Mmm. Thanks, ma'am. Yes, I'm fragile. I'm fragile. I, 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 I just told you. Oh, I want a uh, soldiers. Some stupid questions. What do you need to do? I don't know how loud or quiet the music is, so <laughs> it might sound like I'm talking to myself. I'm like, oh, I'll do one more, we'll be fine, and I'm just stuck at the 80 mark now. Hey. What am I in for? This is <laughs> distracting me quite a bit. I want to know what I'm in for. Did I just see a skirt? There we go. Skirt! That was a bit odd. Grand Tober. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I finally got that under seventy again. Do I have to go listen one to revise a bit? I feel like I'm gonna forget it if I don't do it.
Alright. Those are quite a few mistakes. But I've gotten this sub 60, and I've done it with zero mistakes. And I've gotten this sub 80. Alright. My high, my fastest was uh, 47 seconds with one mistake, by the way. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. And I need a cooling down exercise. So if you don't mind, let's go and watch Half of a Quiet Place review. Only half, I've already seen half. <laughs> I just saw it up the stairs, and as she continues walking, it somehow. All right. Well, I did it go to trap. Now you know the playlist. It's like the first one you see. Wow. Should I be doing it over here? Since I don't have to change anything. I probably shouldn't have shown you that. It's so early. Boom. Alright, let's go. Somehow bends the nail upwards? Like, holy fuck, are you ever strong? But unfortunately, just like every other plot device in this film that exists to put the characters in danger, this one doesn't make any fucking sense either. First of all, why was there a nail hammered into the step from underneath it? At what point was someone laying on their back underneath the staircase hammering a nail upwards into it? What the fuck is that all about? Apparently somebody did that and then hammered the nail to the side, and this pregnant lady managed to bend the nail back upwards without even noticing all right so obviously the next time she goes down the stairs she steps on it and drops some shit but not before we get another completely nonsensical scene john krasinski and his son are walking back from the river and apparently the kid's not even looking where he's fucking going and just walks into his back at which point he looks up to see why his father has stopped walking and they see an old man with a dead body next to him that is assumed to be his wife's john krasinski gives him the shush sound as though to imply like hey don't i know you really feel like screaming over your wife's dead body right now but don't make any noise because that would be very dangerous but you'd think that if the guy was gonna scream he would do that before they got there was he literally just waiting for someone to come along so he could scream at them Did i mean he, he could conveniently just take his the victims with the exact same moment that jim and his son were walking by i wanted to feel fear but i felt confusion and amusement it is so incredibly cheesy and strange so when the wife steps on that inexplicable nail sticking up from the stairs, she drops her shit and it makes a lot of noise. So now the things are after her and she hides upstairs in the bathroom. But it's really unfortunate because she's also going into labor. So she really comically has to give birth as quietly as possible. She's in the bathtub trying not to make noise while the thing's walking around the bathroom. The scene cuts away to show Jim who makes his way up there. And when he gets there, she's no longer in the bathtub and he gets really sad because there's blood in the bathtub and he thinks that she's surely dead at which point it's revealed that she had moved to the shower and they reveal this by having her slam her fucking hand against the glass as a jump scare like that shit was unbeatably right. loud and the movie has very clearly communicated that these things are somewhere close mm. by if they could hear you dropping something then they'd also hear you slamming your fucking hand against the glass but for some reason the movie doesn't even treat this as though there's any sense of peril at all like gotcha jump scare but she's fine and that's all you're supposed to pay attention to right now don't worry, they're not coming, it doesn't matter. So meanwhile, the kids are at the designated Wait, spot let's read that poster. Silo. If they hear you, they hunt you. Not coming, it doesn't matter. So meanwhile, right. the kids are at the designated meetup spot. If you're born mute, isn't that really good, though? On top of a grain silo. And we get yet Why don't they just, like, make everyone born new? Somehow mute. it turns out that where the one kid was actually standing was actually on top of a hatch, and it just gives away and completely falls apart at that very moment that he's... So how do they speak English if they're all mute?
standing on it. Is this the first time anyone's ever stood there? Is the designated meetup spot a place where the dad has never <sighs> actually been? So How long have I been at this for? Basically, you know. This kid's inside this grain silo yeah, that seems fair. He starts drowning as though it were quicksand. And right away, that seemed a little weird. I was kind of under the impression that grain was grain and not quicksand. That perhaps you might get stuck in it and have difficulty getting out, but not have it behave like fucking quicksand. But since I'm fair, I thought, you know what? Perhaps I'm wrong. And even if I'm not, if it just behaves this way in this universe or whatever, that's totally fine as long as it's consistent. So the girl jumps down to save him and climbs on top of one of. I'm I think it's not gonna be consistent. Alright, now he's stuck. Is using to reenact the final scene from Titanic. So she reaches down and grabs her brother and pulls him up, and now they're both on top of this door raft, completely safe from drowning in grain. But then the monster shows up and they hide by going underneath the metal door raft, at which point the monster steps on the metal door raft. So these two kids are underneath this metal door that has this giant monster on top of it, and they're now not sinking for some reason and it's not even like they're hanging on to this metal door raft with their fingertips as they dangle far underneath it no instead their bodies are forming a layer between the grain and the door raft wait really has a lot more weight on it why aren't you sinking anymore is the grain quick really and or is it not? I don't uh, really care which one you decide. I thought they were on a door raft, not it's like under it. Behave in a certain way for the sole purpose of creating more peril for these characters. Then fucking stick with it. Why only sometimes? Screw me for wanting to have a story where things happen for actual reasons other than just simply to put the characters in more peril at any given moment. Screw me for wanting any sense of consistency. Oh, I know what you want me to do i should turn off my brain but wait i can't because my brain is what i use to experience and appreciate film if mm. you go into every movie with your brain turned off then what do you even like about them i guess the oh, probably the purpose point. of making a film isn't for it to be appreciated no it's to help you fall asleep so the mother is in the soundproof basement with her newborn baby and the entire basement is flooding from a leaky pipe now just because she needs to be in more peril and no other reason so as she quietly steps through the chest high water making her way out of there it turns out that there was a monster underneath the water the whole time how did it get there was it there the whole time like when john krasinski was talking to her and everything i guess it just snuck down there so jim finally finds his kids and he tells them to go to this truck at the top of the hill but i can't for the life of me understand why he asks them to do that why don't you just walk back to the house that you can see from here like it's implied that they're going in the truck to get back to the house what the hell are you thinking isn't that gonna make a lot more noise what's your plan here so the kids somehow get into the i can't do this man i'm so hungry
When I picked up anything strange, that's weird. Let's continue. Truck without making any noise, I guess. Jim's outside grabbing an axe, and then one of the things attacks him. But then his son sees this and starts screaming inside the truck. So the thing starts attacking the truck and fucking it up. It looks like the kids are done for, but then Jim decides he has a great idea. He makes eye contact with his kids who are in the truck as the thing's attacking the top of it. And then he signs, I love you. And it's so cheesy and overdramatic. We get a close shot of the kids looking at him while they're in the truck and the truck's just not moving anymore like we're supposed to forget that the thing's still on top attacking it no don't think about what the scene just set up this is their moment and that's all that's important so anyway jim saves them by reenacting the ending from the descent part two and it was just as funny it's a funny uh Asian Japanese so the kids escape by putting the truck into neutral and having it roll down the hill quietly. I still don't fucking understand why they needed to be in the truck at all, but okay. It's not like they had very far to go. So now the two kids and the mom are back in the basement past the stupid nail stairs. And one of the monsters comes down and it's about to fuck them up. But then the girl has this crazy fucking epiphany that comes out of nowhere. She looks at the whiteboard where it says, what is their weakness? And she's like, I know, it's my cochlear implant. So she takes takes her implant thing from her ear and holds it up to the microphone, which for some reason is attached to powered on speakers. And the monster is clearly being hurt by this frequency being emitted by her implant thingy. I can understand the microphone being there so that you can communicate to other people if you find them on a radio frequency, but why on earth is it connected to powered speakers? You'd think that that would just create more unnecessary rip. I honestly haven't found a way to disagree with him yet. Ask for noise. Also, how did you know that the monsters don't like your implant thingy? The only other time in the film when this was referenced was when. But then again, you actually don't know when uh the monsters came to attack. It's, at least I don't remember you telling me. One was sneaking around behind her and she didn't even notice it. Her implant made a weird kind of noise and then us as viewers got to see that the monster didn't like it, but she never did. The whole scene was trying to go for this kind of, oh, she's deaf, she doesn't even know it's behind her, oh no, what's she gonna do kind of feeling. So she never noticed it. So how the fuck would she know that her implant is something that it doesn't like? And also, if you have these gigantic loud speakers laying around connected to a microphone, then you can just blast them film not using that towards your advantage we were very clearly taught earlier in the film that the monsters don't give a shit about noise as long as it's constant why don't you just connect that ipod that you had earlier to it you can have a song that loops forever just hang out by the river for a couple of days if you're concerned about the monsters checking out the initial noise and then you can make as much noise as you want because there'll be other louder noise that drowns it out this is a concept that you taught us in this film these are rules that you set up and explain to us hell if there's some strange reason why looping a song wouldn't work then why don't they just record the sound of the river they don't really seem to have any shortage of electronic devices or electricity i'm sure one of them's got a smartphone they can charge and bring to the river and press record why don't you just bring that back and connect it to the speakers and play the river sound at your home if the constant sound of the river is something that they don't give a shit about and it's an added benefit because it means that you're able to make noise and that you are safer, then why don't you do that? Why don't you do any of the dozens of things you could be doing to make things easier on yourself? Why does everything you do in this movie result in you being in more peril than before? Oh yeah, because it's all just shitty fucking plot devices. So the monster's in pain because of the frequency from the cochlear implant. Apparently while John Krasinski was trying to fix it earlier in the film, it's my afternoon, man. a new frequency, I guess. If it's just high-pitched noises that it doesn't like, you'd think that the rest of the world would have figured this out. There are qu Guys, finna listen to this. <laughs> Let me That's lit. Quite literally air 
areas in the United States right now that have installed high frequency sound devices with the aim of keeping away bugs and rodents and also young people. These things already exist and it would be pretty fucking easy to figure out that the monsters don't like them. This is called a mosquito. It emits a high pitched sound designed to keep loiterers away but the question is does it unfairly target young people? It's not like there isn't any other information about them that people figured out. There's a scene in the movie where they're walking by in mean, a newspaper stand and the headline reads, It's sound! Do newspaper printing machines not make sound? It's my understanding that they're actually pretty fucking noisy. I guess it's pretty convenient that that information was properly distributed and was, uh, the fact that they really obviously hate high frequencies. Unless Jim actually isn't. invented a new frequency by accident. Yeah. So anyway, the monster is in pain and then the mom decides to shoot it with a shotgun which seems to kill it instantly meaning that bullets work on them is this an alternate universe where the united states military was never a thing apparently guns work just fine what's the issue here oh no the sound's going to attract more of them that i can shoot this is set in america right if guns can kill them just fine then these things wouldn't stand <laughs> I am trying my very hardest to appreciate this film, but unfortunately the device that I use to appreciate films is called a brain, which I'm apparently not allowed to use when watching this movie. Is this seriously the film that everybody thinks I'm not allowed to dislike? This is the film that you've decided is only possible to dislike if the person watching wanted to dislike it? Seriously? Now if you enjoyed this film, I think that's perfectly fine. Fine. Just because you have an opinion that I don't doesn't